Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Lux Oracle. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Mother's Day to all of the beautiful mothers out there. Thank you so much. We are so grateful for everything you do, for your protection, for your vessel, for your love, for your forgiveness, for your patience, mm, for your patience, okay? So before I um, sat down for a reading, I got the song, I got a download. It was, um, it just started in my head. I didn't even know what the song was by Ariana Grande. It's called Love Me Harder. Oops. Love Me Harder. <clears throat> and it's, ooh, 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 ooh. Love me, love me, love me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Harder, harder, harder. And I looked up the lyrics and it's basically um, a feminine explaining that, um, you know, the love is there. But if you want me to stay, bring forth more love. Okay, bring forth more action. Bring forth more energy. Okay. And the masculine part of the song was a little more sexual, a little more, I'm getting Knight of Wands energy, okay? And then I pulled some cards from the Kipper deck, and um, we have Courthouse, Marriage, and Unexpected Encounter. Okay, Collective, so I'm getting your love language is straight action, like, if it's what it is, like, let's go to the courthouse, like, put a ring on it, give me money, let's start a business, let's start a foundation, let's start a family. You know, you have entered a space in your life where you're ready for that type of energy. You're ready for that type of commitment. Literally, Empress just came out, okay? You are an embodiment of all queens. You have the ability to balance every aspect of your life, your health, your career, your <clears throat> um, parenthood, motherhood, your outer appearance, okay? Your emotional... Um, your emotions, okay? Your ability to be a wife, your ability to be a best friend, your ability to be a good person overall is prominent, okay? <clears throat> and so that is um, you, and I'm getting you know what you want, okay? You know what you want. So that is what you expect from your partner for them to know what they want immediately as well. I'm getting you to be a star, okay? You are very healing, very, um, I'm hearing the goat, okay, you could be the goat at what you do, or just very, um, very wifey material, okay, it is very easy for people to fall in love with you, as being a wife is your second nature, okay, wands here, high priestess, yeah, something, it was an inkling that you were feeling that this person was strictly sexual okay yeah this person was more focused on ambition um in their career and their status as a man okay while you are focused on wanting to start a family okay the sign of cancer is the high priestess um very homey very loving um very loyal okay so you could have been feeling real insecure in this connection lately. Um, even if this is a new person. So let's get into it. Oh, that's what else. You could be getting downloads, dreams about this person, um, being or um, cheating or being or like finding out something that is going to make you walk away. OK, <clears throat> make you not want to work with this person here with the seven pentacles in the first. All of these cards are upside down. So I'm going to go ahead and straighten them out. So I'm not over confused with the reversals because baby, we need a clear, concise message.
Okay. It's like most of all of them are backwards, okay? So the energy could be very confusing at this time. Okay, for some of you, I'm getting spirit could be judging this connection and guiding you to walk away. Okay, simply because you have outgrown this person. This is something that you could have already done, okay? Yeah, with this King of Swords here. A divorcee. This person, this could be the person that kind of made you have your guard up when it came to your new beginnings, your new options. This person could have been very cutthroat, okay? Very like the connection was very, um, what's the word? Ta tawny on your spiritual, on your body, okay? We have the devil, the seven of swords, and the knight of pentacles. So this person could have been taking care of a family elsewhere, okay? This person could have been married elsewhere. This person could have Capricorn in their chart. Yeah, this person could have had a foundation elsewhere that they had to tend to. Yeah, that is the truth with the sun card here. This person could have had children as well. So that could be what is guarding you um, from your new beginning, okay? What is blocking you, this King of Wands energy. I'm getting, you knew there was something better for you, a better connection, a more loving connection, a new beginning elsewhere with your true kingdom spouse. I'm getting, you were like, uh, this ain't for me, like... You could have thought it was for you for a while, but you knew it was not for you, okay? The love was lost. I'm getting, you could have really had to nurture yourself back to health after these games that this person played, okay? This person could have <clears throat> promised you the end all, be all. This person could have made you feel like they were going to um, take this seriously. Like, yeah, this would have been a wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups here. Okay, this person could have played like they were going to give you a higher level of commitment with the Hierophant here, okay? Um, this person could have offered for you to move in. Yeah, this person could have wanted to be pregnant, wanted to start a family with you as well. But then we have the Knight of Wands here. We have the Four of Swords, okay? So um, you definitely had to heal from this person's in and out behavior. This person could have been going through a divorce. We have the lovers here in reverse. So, yeah, there will be no new beginning with this person. This person had multiple lovers as well. This person could have been intimate with a lot of people. Um, heavy interracial connections. People from their childhood. People from their past that they knew you could know this person from childhood or their past. This person had a lot of options. 
This person could be dreaming of you at this time. Okay, this person could be focused on work at this time. But let's tap out of this energy, please. Clearly, the collective does not want them back. This new love is going to be, it's going to bring out your more mature energy, okay? They're going to help you heal. They're going to help you not react so quickly, not act out of um, insecurity, okay? Yeah, out of lack, out of loss. Gift, okay? This person is going to be a real gift from the divine. This connection will be a real gift from the divine, okay? It could be someone um, on both of y'all's ends that will be in concern upon this connection um, being solidified. Yeah, it's going to bring about a lot of changes around the both of you. New love for the collective. New love for the collective. We have I am absolutely in love with you at the bottom of this deck. Okay, with the number six. This person could bring a lot of balance to your connection, okay? Great fortune. I'm here unfortunate to have you, girl. I'm so glad you're in my world. Just to show as the sky is blue. Bless the day that I found you. And then we have eight on this card, okay? So heavy abundance energy yep mature woman here this person could be older here so this person could be thinking admiring you from afar thinking about the love that they have for you the feelings that they have for you um the goals the plans that they want to make for you okay this person could um want to like draw you or like use you as their muse for something okay something that they do artistically doesn't have to be a portrait but could be like a sculpture or a model or like for photography or something, this person sees beauty in you in more ways than one, okay? Um, this a home could be significant. This person could want to create in their home. They could want to create a home life with you. Yeah, this person definitely wants to get um, into a higher level of commitment here with you with um, adjudication and male female. I'm getting, if you are not um, a traditional person, you all could go the spiritual route, get like a spiritual um, marriage or like a spiritual something. Main female again, guys. This person is thinking about this as we speak. How do they want to bring forth some type of, I'm getting promise ring, okay? I'm seeing that music video. Judication again. I know y'all see me shuffling these cards. Honey. I'm getting YouTube could be telling y'all's families, telling y'all's parents about wanting to move forward in the near future. Expectation. I'm getting you could be expecting this if you're a feminine watching. Hungry, I want like a sandwich or something. Yeah. Um, someone from your past. This person could have a pet. This person could work a lot. This person could wear like work boots or like this person could wear boots to work. 
um, this person could have recently lost their job as well. They are depressed and distressed because they know they cannot offer you a new beginning without any resources, any finances. Okay, because you are a privileged lady here. Like, you can't come with less than what I provide for myself. That's just not happening, okay? With the abundance here at the bottom of the deck. Spirit is guiding this person to choose a new direction, okay? Because, yeah, you're just destined for something. Sorry. Two more cards. Here, Spirit. Fortunate to have you, girl. Um, yeah, it's over for your past. Two more cards. Ooh. Imprisonment and poverty. So I'm getting your exes. They, they got a lot going on. Some of them will be going to jail. Some of them will be going broke, if not already. Some of them will be left out in the cold by you, by others, by God, by spirit. Okay. It's just, they just down bad. Send love, send prayers to them, hope they heal. Smooches, smooches, okay. Yeah, while you go off and start this family in this big house, okay, with the fireplace. Um, <clears throat> Let's get some messages from your person. Fortunate to have you, girl. I'm really getting like, um, if I don't... Like you may not, for some of you, you could be getting engaged, getting married, okay? But if you know you're not at that stage yet, I'm really getting like just a verbal commitment. Like, okay, we're boyfriend and girlfriend or okay, let's date exclusively. Let's date monogamy. Let's, you know, save ourselves for each other only, okay? You all could want to go to therapy, counseling, or... Um, yeah, I'm getting this connection. Like, y'all will prioritize the health of this connection, okay? If, if something feels unbalanced, y'all will address it head on. Yeah, because y'all do not want to lose this love. Love is the answer. Strength. One more spirit will close this out. I am absolutely in love with you. Okay, wait. I want you to choose. I want to start a family with you. you drunk. You already know. And you've got multiple people in your energy at this time thinking of you sexually, okay? Yeah. I'm getting people that you don't even see in that way. These people are trying to psych you out, trying to I'm coming to this union and create some type of third parties. For some of you, This person could know that you expect some type of higher level of commitment. Okay, but there's something like even, cause we have, I think we should slow down here. I And we have, I think we should see other people. And that came out in the last reading. So either you have multiple people in your energy because we also have, I want you to choose. So there could be someone coming in your energy very strong 
who is trying to break up some type of significant connection. What about that spirit? Is there someone else in the collective's energy? If I asked you to stay, would you leave? Hell yeah. I never imagined so much perfection. Whew. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one.